Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and in this video we're going to be looking at Dirt 3 Complete Edition running in Ubuntu 15.04. Now I'm using Wine Staging 1.7.39 with the CSMT patch enabled as you can see here. I'm running the latest NVIDIA 349.12 drivers. Now this Complete Edition removes games for Windows Live, that functionality that always stopped us from playing the game in the first place. So now it works in Wine and it works rather well I have to say. So let's go ahead and get into the game. I am recording this at 60 frames per second, so I am expecting the game to take quite a hit when I record at that uh, frames per second. So give it a couple seconds to start up. As you can see, it's starting up great. I am going to be starting the video in windowed mode first, 1600 by 900, and then later on in the video, I'm going to run into windowed uh, full screen mode, hopefully, at 1920 by 1080p if I can. So we're starting it off at 1600 by 900. You're seeing me start the complete edition for the first time. Starting up, this is a movie scene I think. Can I skip this? Yes I can. You can enter. Hi, to so Rick. now this part, Ellie, it's rendering. Session, this is really real-time rendering. Let's see if I can get into now the game. We move on, let's get your details for the contract. So I'm going to register this up. Just going to name myself Sabun. Mail. Let's see, do they have Malaysia here? I think they do. Go down a bit. There it is. Alright. I'm going to click continue. Uh, do we have donut? I love donut. Donut, donut, donut. Are you here? Yes, it is. Totally good. Experience level casual will be fine for me. I just want to try running this first. I want to enable auto saving. I believe this is using the Steam Cloud now for saving. So it looks like Codemasters is keeping to their word and they are removing the games from Windows Live That's rubbish from the game that stopped this. it from playing. If you're ready to start the Dirt Tour, the first championship series is waiting for you. Mm -hmm. Or you can also check out multiplayer for some totally awesome races. I just want to do some be. single player right off the bat. But before we get into that, let me go into options. Let's go and see what the graphics controls are. Do I have my controller plugged in? Yes, I do. I'll test it in a moment. What about now? Nope, the controller does not seem to be detected in the window. Resolution is 1600 by 900, 4 times MSAA. VSync is disabled. Looks like everything is set to high. Post processing is set to medium. Skid marks is on. Interesting. Oh, I can run a benchmark. You know what? Later on, I'll probably do a benchmark for this game. Hopefully, if I can get it working. Let's go back. Let's see if I can just go ahead and start single player. Let me reconfirm. My controller is not detected. Alright. Single player. Let's see what I can do. Single race, discipline, rally, head to head, land rush, trailblazer, rally cross. Hmm, what's something interesting? Rally sounds good. Let's see, that that looks good right there. I'm not too sure about the maps for this game. I never actually really played it. I got it in hopes that I would be able to get running in wine for this, but I never really could. I'm just gonna start with the basic car. So this video is more to showcase that the game can run, and if it can run, how well does it run? Where does it run into issues? Does it crash at all? I don't think there are any videos prior to this showcasing Dirt 3 running on Linux, but I could be wrong. I searched on YouTube, I couldn't find any. I know because I, before this I tried to figure out if I could get this running many times. So I am seeing a couple of stutter and momentary hangs here and there, but that is also to be expected since I'm recording at 60 frames per second. I'm just going to try and get through this first race fast and see if uh, it crashes at all. After that I'll move into full screen. I just want to go ahead and go straight into race. I probably should turn the music off or I'm going to get a whole bunch of YouTube copyright claims. Let me just skip this part. Can I skip this part? Nope, not yet. Okay, I'm going to go to options. I just want to make sure the music is off. Music, off you go. Let's 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 not have those claims off. Okay, vibration. This is for controller, but I'm pretty sure the controls aren't detected. I guess it's only looking for a wheel controller, not my 360 controller. Okay, it's like my keyboard input's okay. Never played this uh, this complete edition yet before, and it's been a long time since I played Dirt. So I could be doing this pretty crappily. I don't remember what the view changes. Yes, it's C, just like grid. Okay, can I get a first person view? Oh, there was a momentary hang there, but I am in first person view. I think I'm going to maintain this because this is probably one of the heaviest views in the game. 
Can you look, look from the inside? Cockpit view, we already know that the external view outside works. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Oh, this is pretty awesome. I can't believe I'm playing this now. On... Through wine on Ubuntu. Sorry, okay, I'm just gonna talk, stop talking for a bit. <laughs> I think spacebar is the handbrake. Okay, gotta keep it slow, gotta keep it slow. Okay, let's change views for a moment. Get a bit more of that scenery in the camera. Definitely harder <laughs> to control when it's like this. It's easier if I'm closer. Let's see if I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the hood view right up. Let's see how this works. I'm surprised it's actually running this smooth compared to all right, usually when I record games with simple screen recorder, we take a performance hit. And if I record it at 60 FPS, we take a really big performance hit. But the fact that I'm running this right now okay is it's pretty amazing. Okay, let me just move at the engine. Look right there. I'm trying to get as many angles, camera angles as we can going throughout this. I'm sorry, I can't put a frame count up. I really would like to, but Wine is really, really bad with frame counters. No matter what kind of OpenGL frame counter I put up, it refuses to acknowledge it. Or The best I've gotten is GLX OSD, and even then, it usually just displays black numbers, which is a shame. LibGL FPS doesn't work. Frappix doesn't work. Even XOSD, the... The one that everyone seems to use in the forums doesn't work either. It'll always just display zero frames per second, which is pretty bad. I really wish Wine had an internal frame counter. Even Crossover doesn't have that functionality, which is a shame. you think that everyone testing their applications on here would want to know that stuff. Okay, moving back into the first view. I'm actually playing this game and I'm playing it properly. Even though this is pretty much just supposed to be a test run. I, I forget, I'm actually paying attention to what she says. I see the guy in front of me. Oh, oh. I'm not doing it too cleanly there. Don't know if I can overtake this guy or not. Let's see if I can. Oh yeah, I just overtook him. Oh yeah. Oh, okay, I'm starting to focus on this a bit too seriously now. So this first part might be a bit long. If you're not interested in seeing the entire thing and you just want to skip, always remember that there is a timeline I provide in the description of this video down below. I try to do that for most of my videos so you don't have to watch the entire thing. You can just skip to the parts that interest you. Were those spikes on the floor? Does that show look like spikes on the floor? Why is my windscreen wipers on? It's not exactly raining or anything. Oh yeah, I got in third. Well, not bad considering awesome this race. is probably the first one I've done. The YouTube for your fans to watch. YouTube for the fans to watch. All right, I'm gonna go continue. All right, let's see if I can jump into full screen mode. Eh? Hopefully we can. All right, let's go ahead and run it in full screen mode. This time I've already set it to 1920 by 1080 p there's no wine window running in the background. It should automatically go full screen. All right, looks like it does it well right off the bat. Now do note you'll have to change the settings in the game first before changing the wine window. If you try to run the game at 1920 by 1080p before setting it in game, the game will crash. So basically you have to run it at the first resolution the game ever runs it at and change it from there. Hope I'm, I'm probably not be coming off clear there. But let's see, can I use my controller? Nope. Controller still does not work. Still recording this at 60 FPS, but this time running it at full screen. So far, so good. Definitely a couple of stutters here and there. Just to confirm, under options, let's check. Graphics options, it should be 1920 by 1080p. And all the other settings are the same. 4 times MSAA. Everything is either on or maxed. Alright, let's go back. No, I wonder, is there an option for controls? Let me just confirm. Controls. Buttons, presets. What do we have? Nope, it does not see my controller. Alright, never mind. Let's go ahead and get into another test. Alright, I'm going to see if multiplayer works at all. 
because I know a lot of people want to play this. Alright, it doesn't look like I have a choice right now for playing online. Maybe if I had a friend online, I could test it with them. So let's go into another single player test. Not a time trial, going to go single race. Not rally this time. What is head to head? I'm not sure what that is. What's land rush? That looks interesting. Different area vehicle classes. Trucks. Buggies. That that looks interesting. Laps. Three. I'll just bring that down to two. Night conditions. Sounds interesting. Alright, let's give it a shot. Let's find out how this works. I am going to go with a buggy. Just for the fun of it. Now I can go with Brembo. I think I'm going with Brembo. So once again, this is running on Wine Staging 1.7.39 with the CSMT patch enabled. This is not native for Linux. I'm running this through a translation layer. So the fact that I can record this at 60 frames per second and still get relatively playable f performance from the game is pretty impressive. Compared to previously, this game was not runnable at all. But after they removed the GFWL, we are good. GFWL is games for Windows Live. So, so far so good, we're in the scene. Do see, I do see the micro stutter quite a bit here and there in the hangs. You probably can hear my computer heating up in the background now. So I'm just going to go ahead and race right off the bat. Once again, that's what most people will be doing right when they get into the game. Starting off right at the beginning in full first person view and I can't see anything from all the snow. Oh, but this is awesome. Oh, it looks like it's assisting my controls, probably because I put it on casual. That would probably explain why I can't do it. hard corners. Yeah, it looks like it breaks for me. I'm just going to try and cut through. Let's cut through there. Come on, come on, make the turn. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Too close. Oh, whoa, 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 buddy. Whoa. Trying to go for a clean overtake, but didn't do that too successfully there. I believe this is two laps. Let's see if I can ace this while playing it on casual in wine. Oh, my goodness. That was a high jump. Oh, break, break, break. Okay, there we go. So since I can't use a 360 controller with it, it seems very unlikely that you'd be able to use a, a driving wheel with this. If you could though, that would be awesome. Too bad I don't have a driving wheel to test with. So I'm just pretty much using my keyboard here, keyboard and mouse. Come on, come on. How do I look back? Let's just take a look at the options here. Look back is W, okay. Okay, relatively straight. Anyone behind me? Nope. Looking clear so far. Gonna change my view for a bit. Wow, this is running really well. I'm really impressed. Oh, sweet. It's probably my first win running in wine, although it is at casual mode, so nothing to be proud of. So I guess I'm going to call it quits here. It looks like the game is very playable. No idea if I'll be able to do benchmark or not in the future. We'll have to see if I can get a frame counter on top. So if you have Dirt 3 and you've been wanting to play it, but you didn't have a way to get working before this. Now it does seem to work relatively well in Wine with CSMT patch, but you're probably going to need to use Wine staging like I'm using. So that is it for this gameplay video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you found something useful from this. And thank you for watching.